And then that's when all of the nerves, because you know, you get these nerves before you perform. And yes. um, that's when all of the nerves went away. And when I saw the audience, how they gravitated to me, and I received that energy, I was like, wow. Like, and, and so I gave a great performance. And from that day, from that day forward, I vowed that I would remain in the arts. And I uh, took a test to get into the School of the Arts in New York City. I got into the School of the Arts, um, Dr. Daniel Hill Williams, IS-180 School of the Arts. And I, um, I, I, that's where I learned how to play uh, the saxophone. That's when I learned how to read music. Um, that's where I learned, you know, I, I actually pursued singing. And then I got into modern dance. And um, Miss Brock, I even still know my, my teacher's name, Miss Brock. She taught me how to dance. Um, so my days, you know, started off with maybe some classwork. You know, we did some classes and then we, um, the other half of the day was um, dance, whatever music I was in, whatever drama, whatever. So I, and that's where I began, began um, developing my acting skills. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, Brett, thank God for good teachers. I mean, yes. it's a, my daughter in law is a teacher. And yeah. they make a they make a difference in a child's life. They can either make you or break you, actually. But that is can. so true. They can. <laughs> they can. And you had people around you. Your village was already set up. God already had you set apart, as they say. Mm -hmm. So you um your breakout singles, it ain't easy and love is music. Mm -hmm. Um can you share the inspiration behind those tracks and the music videos? Like what's what's what start what made you want to make singles? Because, you know, people play around with it. You know, they rap in front of their friends. But you took it a step further. You um.